Hi, my name is Frederick Holland and I'm here at the Musicians Institute in Hollywood and I'm going to talk about being a session musician in LA. Being a session musician is, can be a lot of work, uh, especially sometimes when I go to a session and he might want me to do like five different songs, you know, within the course of like maybe like three hours or something. So it can be challenging sometimes, especially when, you know, you need to be done with this in a certain amount of time. I remember one time I was doing this track for Justin Bieber and I only had like 20 minutes to come up with a part and I found that very challenging because, you know, you're a little nervous and you, and you really want your part to end up on the record. It's important to just stay calm and just try to do your best, you know, and I was uh, fortunate, fortunately the, the part ended up on the record. The favorite session that I did was probably when I played on the Michael Jackson record, the Xscape album. Um, that one was pretty simple. It went pretty fast. I would say probably less than 15 minutes. And it was just kind of, like a, like a funky, up-tempo song. And I pretty much just, I was just jamming over it. And within maybe like five minutes, I played a part that, 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 that he really liked. I think we actually ended up just using the part while I was jamming. I think I was, uh, I had a couple other takes and then I did some overdubs, but it was pretty cool to just be like, walk in and be done in like 10, 15 minutes, you know? It's, that was pretty cool. I spent a lot of time transcribing um, like classic funk and R&B songs. Uh, I find that the, the guitar parts are always so cool, and especially like from the greats, like Nile Rodgers, for instance. I mean, there's so many really, really awesome parts, and I find it very helpful to learn all those parts, and then, and then you can use some of those elements and use them in your own playing. You know? To become a successful session musician, it's important to be able to work fast and just throw out a bunch of ideas. Mostly when I go into a session and I start playing over a song, he usually just likes me to jam something and just kind of play what I think would be cool. You start playing something, maybe he doesn't like that, and then he said, play me something else. And then he might say, oh, can you play something like this, or can you play something like that, and can you make that sound? So it's important that you're very flexible and that you're good with tones, for sure, because tones is very, very important. That doesn't mean you can have your own feel, just, it's just it, it, it sounds good, but what a really good way to get good at that is to just record yourself, you know? I mean, it's good to practice with a metronome, but you really need to record yourself as well and listen back. Honestly, it's so important. I, sometimes I feel like in the studio when I play a part, uh, the producer sometimes might be more concerned about the feel and the groove than actually the, the notes that you're playing sometimes. <laughs> It's very important to have a home studio, at least have a decent setup, because a lot of times uh, producers might call me and they might be somewhere else, they might not be in their studio, and they might call you and like, hey, I need you to lay some guitar tracks on this, and can you do it from at home? And then at least you should have a decent setup, decent preamp, decent interface and converter, so you can track what you're doing. I love in recording it from at home, because I feel like I'm a little more I don't have to be as nervous, not a bunch of people around me. I'm just kind of alone in my room. I'm just tracking guitars and I really enjoy doing it. I think it's really a lot of fun. If you want to become a session musician, I think it's very important that you listen to a lot of different music, you know? because when you walk into a session, you never really know what they're gonna throw at you, and it can be anything. It's just important to just know as much music as possible and, and really, um, of course, practice like rhythm, guitar playing, and parts, you know? I'm not just talking about strumming and rhythm, but actually playing parts and being able to play um, uh, parts that work with the vocals and stuff like that. I mean, there's a bunch of songs out there, especially today, the new type of stuff, pop music, a lot of it doesn't even have guitar songs. And maybe take one of those songs and maybe try to come up with your guitar part. And have, what, what would you play over this if you were in a session and you're gonna play over this, you know? Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you can take some of these concepts that I was talking about and it can help you uh, becoming a better session musician.